Munchkin is a wildly popular card game with all the fun of dungeon crawling without any of the role playing, and it's designed and published by Steve Jackson Games. So in Munchkin, players compete to level up their characters by killing monsters and taking their stuff. It supports from three to six players and usually lasts about one to two hours. There are seven major expansions just to the base game, as well as a whole bunch of mini expansions, and all of these can be combined with any of the many, many variants on this game that exist. At the start of Munchkin, the deck is separated into the door deck and the treasure deck, and each player gets four cards off of each of those. Each player will also need either a 10-sided die or 10 counters in order to keep track of their level. A six-sided die will be needed for the table. So each player starts at level one and can immediately play any class, race, or item cards that they want from their starting hand, and those are gonna go face up on the table. Then you're gonna choose the start player and the game begins. Each turn in Munchkin consists of four phases, kicking down the door, looking for trouble, looting the room, and charity. When kicking down the door, a player takes the top card off the door deck. If it's a monster, then combat immediately ensues. If it's a curse, then that curse immediately goes off. If it's any other card, then it is either immediately played or it's taken into the player's hand. So a player who didn't draw a monster can look for trouble by playing a monster from their hand to fight. And combat in Munchkin is super simple. You compare your combat strength to that of the monster, and if it's higher, you win. Now combat strength is determined by your character's level, any item bonuses they might have, as well as any one-off effects that come from other cards. If your strength is too low, you can ask for help from other players at the table, and they can add their combat strength and their bonuses to yours. You can offer them anything you'd like, but usually you offer them a pick of the treasure if you defeat the monster, or maybe one of the items that you already have. Be careful though, because any player who's not helping you can hinder you by playing cards to help the monster. So if you can't defeat the monster, you're gonna have to run away. And to run away, a player rolls the six-sided die and succeeds on a five or a six. Now, if you don't get away, the monster is gonna do the bad stuff that's listed on its card. If you do defeat the monster, you get to loot the room. So you get a level plus whatever treasure is listed on that monster's card. If you didn't get to fight a monster this turn, you can take an extra card from the door deck and take it into your hand. So during the charity phase, a player with more than five cards in their hand has to give the extras to the player with the lowest level or discard them if they have the lowest level. You can avoid getting rid of an item this way by playing it face up in front of you and getting its bonus as long as you've got an item slot left for it. And you can also do this with class or race cards. If there's no room for an item that you want to play, you have to either replace one of the ones you've already got, discard it, or keep it in your hand if you've got the space. Players can equip items at any time during the game, as long as they're not in combat. Players can also exchange loot for levels at an exchange rate of 1,000 gold per level. So the player to reach the 10th level wins the game, but that last level between 9 and 10 you have to earn by defeating a monster. So to me, Munchkin is a really great party game. It's super interactive, it's really quick and easy to learn, there's basically no setup time, and all of that makes it a really great beer and pretzels kind of game. Now the simplicity that allows for that does mean that it can drag a little bit later on because there's not a huge amount of variety to what you can do, and it, it does also suffer from a lot of randomness. Again, that's a pretty common element of party games and a lot of people won't mind, but you really don't want to come to this expecting any kind of strategy. So another con for this game is it can get bogged down at the end when you hit that final stage when everybody is really close to winning and you get that stomp on the leader element to it. And it can get really nasty and really competitive as everybody tries to squish the player who's winning. And Sometimes this, this can last for a really long time, and a lot of people don't like that element of the game. Pros though, I, I think this is a great light party game as well. Uh, it's got a great theme and artwork. It's got really a theme for everybody. I mean, there are so many expansions to this game that if you really love ninjas, you can make it a ninja game. If you really love Conan, you can make it a Conan game. So with the amount of expansions that you have, really, Munchkin is for everybody.
Now the newest expansion that I think that we need for the Munchkin game, which I think would be a great major expansion to this game, the eighth one, would be the standard action expansion to Munchkin. I mean, really, the standard action web series has so much comedy in it that really fits in with the whole dungeon crawl of Munchkin, and I, I think it would fit really well. I mean, just imagine, like, you could put the, like, the, the Converse boots on your druid, and, you know, it's perfect, right, Steve? Mr. Jackson?